there's a lot of big name companies reporting at the end of the week outside of the tech titans who are also reporting. And I know a lot of you are going to be keeping an eye on these names. So I went through all the charts to pick out the most popular charts. They might not have the best earnings track record, although many of them do. But I brought them to you anyways because I know you're going to be watching them. So let's get right into it. The first one is Baidu. Now, I've covered these Chinese internet stocks before. Baidu is one of the leading names. It's the alphabet of China, obviously. They haven't missed since 2014, so great track record. They finally have these shares breaking out of this narrow range that they've been in for a couple of years. That's really bullish. Everybody's bullish on China uh, for you know 2017 and going into 2018 because it looks like that economy is really starting to heat up. So. Uh, this is one you want to watch if you're interested in the ch Chinese internet and technology names. Then we're going to have Expedia. Now, I brought this one even though it has four misses in a row. Normally, I don't really cover many of these that have the bad track records, but this one, um, you know, it hasn't really mattered that much whether or not they've <laughs> missed or beat the last four quarters because this online travel area is really hot right now. So this is the first one out of the gate, and then we're going to get, like, Priceline later. So everybody's going to be watching Expedia to see what they're doing here and whether or not their numbers are going to show this increase in the global travel with the hotter economy. So this is definitely one to be watching. Then we're going to have um, an area that not everybody might be watching, but you really should be, is Columbia Sportswear. I've covered them before. This is a retail, um, outdoor retail uh, company with brick and mortar stores and online sales. They also sell in a lot of uh, major stores. You can see they just have the one missed back in 2013. So great track record, but the shares are stalled. A lot of that has to do because it's on the retail side, obviously. but. Some of its competitors, competitors just reported really good uh, results in the outdoor and action area, which is what Columbia specializes in. And so this is one you might want to keep an eye on, especially heading into this holiday season. Then we're going to have a name that I know a lot of the big uh, people are playing, and it is uh, AbbVie, one of the drug stocks. And as you can see, they just have the one miss back in early 2014. They were spun off from Abbott Labs in 2013, so great track record, and the shares are now soaring. This is the biopharma side. So um, this has been out of favor until recently, maybe not anymore, but this is one to watch. And then we're going to close off the week with one of the big consumer giants, Colgate Palmolive. We all know a lot of their products. This area also has not been um, real high on the street, but they've managed to, you know, uh, see the beat almost every quarter, just the one miss. So a great track record, of course, but this whole consumer products area is out of favor for the most part with investors. But we'll see. This one's trading near that five-year high, so it's been slowly kind of grinding higher in this real choppy manner. And, um, you know, a lot of people will be watching this to see kind of what's happening again on the global economy. A lot of these are big global names. So if you're interested in the global story, be sure to check out uh, almost all of these companies because they have some kind of global play going on that we all want to know because as the global economy heats up, it's good for these multinationals. But, and of course, be sure to tune in all this earnings season for even more stocks just like these, the ones with the best earnings records. I'll be covering all of them and the, just the ones that you're all watching all earnings season. And you can also check out the options trades on Zach's Live Trader over on YouTube. Be sure to tune in to Dave over there. He'll be covering all the options action. Zach's Live Trader on YouTube. And I'll see you again next time.